Hey everyone, I'm John Nelson with Haas Automation and in this video we're going to take you through the relatively simple process of running probing cycles to measure and set machine rotary zero point and safe zone calibration position settings on Haas GM2 5 axis gimbal head machines. There's a very similar process for Haas VR series machines, but there are key differences. So if you have a VR series machine, stop this video now and watch the VR series MRZP and safe zone calibration video. The VPS templates and software were updated in versions 100.20.000.1200 to allow writing directly to settings from within the G code output by the VPS template. If you have a GM25 axis with older software, we recommend that you get it updated to the latest version. There are two separate VPS templates that need to be run. The first is to set the machine rotary zero points, or MRZP for short, and the other is to calibrate the safe zone positions in relation to the machine table. The MRZP template needs to be run first and the process will set the MRZP settings 300 and 301, which are MRZP X and Y offset master settings. These settings account for any deviation between the center of the C-axis rotary and the center of spindle rotation. It'll also set setting 303, which is the MRZP X offset slave. This setting accounts for any deviation in the intersection of the center of the C-axis rotary with the center of the B-axis rotary. And finally, it'll determine setting 305, MRZP Z offset slave. This is the distance from the center of B-axis rotation to the face of the spindle. Uh, this is your pivot length. Settings 300, 301, and 303 apply compensations to machine position. When we're running the probing cycle to measure these values, there can be no compensation applied. So we need to set them to zero. I like to take a photo of the MRZP settings 300 through 305 and safe zone calibration settings 378 through 380 before starting this process. This is just in case I want to compare the before values with the ones I get after running the cycle. Okay, to remove the compensations, change setting 300 through 304 to zero. If you forget this step and try to run the probing cycle, you will get an alarm telling you to change these values to zero. The GM25 axis has a threaded hole in the table where you need to attach the rotary axis calibration tool, commonly known as the tooling ball. Depending on when your machine was built, this hole may be 12 inches, 304.8 millimeter, or 13.5 inches, 342.9 millimeter, in from the X0 end of the table, and the same amount in from the Y0 side of the table. Make sure you remove the base with slots from the rotary axis calibration tool, but leave the extension section and the section with the ball so it stands roughly 8.5 inches or 218 millimeters tall. This is very important because the head on the machine is gonna to tilt to 90 degrees and probe the ball in that position. If you don't have the ball at the right height, you will get a potential collision detected alarm. Okay, I got the tooling ball attached to the table and I'm ready to proceed. You get to the VPS templates by pressing the edit key and navigating to the VPS tab. Scroll down and highlight number one, probing, and press the right arrow key. Now scroll to number three, calibration, and again, press the right arrow key to enter that directory. Highlight MRZP calibration and hit that right arrow key. We're almost there. Now, scroll down to number six, MRZP GM2 5AX. Before you press the right arrow key to actually enter the template, take a moment to watch the on-screen animation. This will give you a visual reference about the height of the rotary axis calibration tool and where it screws into the table, how the table needs to be clear around the tooling ball, 
and how and where to jog the spindle probe to start the cycle. Okay, one last arrow key press and we enter the template. All we need to do here is enter the diameter of the tooling ball and then jog the spindle probe to the start position. Please notice that when I press the keys displayed in the animation, I enter jog mode without leaving the VPS template. All VPS templates work this way. Press the letter key of the axis you want to jog first, then press the handle jog key. Once in jog mode while in the template, you can change the axis to jog by pressing an axis direction jog key or the letter key and handle jog again. With the probe in position, look at the available functions in the upper right corner of the template. I can press cycle start to run the probe cycle in MDI. The code is immediately written to MDI and the program begins to run. The other option is to press F4 instead of cycle start. This will generate the code and allow you to either insert the G code to the clipboard, output G code to MDI, or create a new program. I usually press cycle start to run immediately. That's all there is to setting the machine rotary zero points. The probe cycle will run and write the values to the proper settings when it's done. Okay, now let's talk about safe zone calibration. First off, machines like this with a tilting and rotating spindle head that can accept cutting tools with different lengths could crash into itself very easily. To reduce the possibility of a crash, the machine software has coordinate information on the size and location of permanent elements of the machine, like the spindle head, the table, the machine columns, and the tool changer. After the machine is assembled and the table is installed, the machine needs to know where the table is relative to the machine coordinate system so that it can adjust the position of these permanent elements for more accurate safe zone protection. The process for safe zone calibration is very similar to the MRZP process. The main difference is that you need to remove the first section of the rotary axis calibration tool stem and screw it back onto the table in the same location. The tooling ball should now be about 4.3 inches or 109 millimeters tall. Once the tooling ball is on the table, navigate to the safe zone calibration template. This is the edit key and navigating to the VPS tab. Scroll down to number one probing, right arrow and down to number three calibration and again press the right arrow key. Highlight safe zones and hit that right arrow key one more time. Again. Before entering the template, watch the animation to get more information about the cycle. Jog the spindle probe to the correct position above the tooling ball, enter the ball diameter in the template, and press cycle start to run the cycle. The probing cycle for safe zone calibration simply probes to find the X, Y, and Z axis location of the ball. As with the MRZP template, the probing program will write the measured values to the proper settings. After you've completed the MRZP and safe zone calibration process, your machine is ready to set up and run. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.